When the World Health Organization gives advice, it can lead to countries paying billions to drug companies. That's what happened after WHO guidelines were published in 2004 recommending that governments stock up on flu antivirals like Tamiflu and Relenza. In assembling such guidelines, the WHO has strict rules about conflicts of interest. Participants with known links to the drug industry, for instance, must either be excluded from key meetings or have their conflict of interest made public. Three noted scientists who took part in the 2004 guidelines all had self-declared links to drug companies. Yet the WHO refuses to make the details public. One of the three is Professor Frederick Hayden of Virginia University. He wrote about the benefits of stockpiling antiviral drugs. He was also receiving funds from antiviral manufacturers until the end of 2004, a fact he had openly acknowledged. I, I actually was an investigator and a one-time paid consultant for Roche and, and some other companies also, including GSK and, I, and others uh, that were involved in antiviral drug or vaccine development. So why did the WHO not declare those links? So you don't know if um, those specific individuals filled out declarations of interest forms? Um, they, declarations of interest were asked for from all participants, yes. And do you know if those specific individuals signed a declaration of interest for? Um, I, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe they did, but I'm not 100% sure. It's entirely reasonable to ask for absolute transparency. What the experts did was entirely ethical. They declared their own interests. But for some reason, the World Health Organization are still refusing us full transparency and publishing those interests. In Geneva, the World Health Organization says it needs to balance the privacy of individuals with the robustness of its guidelines. But in Paris on Friday, the Council of Europe is expected to say that unless transparency becomes a priority, the WHO risks losing public confidence. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera.